good evening, everybody. Uh, as you know, um, Maya had a beautiful singing voice, right? And uh, you may have seen a few of her YouTubes uh, with her guitar and with her singing uh, beautifully. Uh, she was uh, raised in the islands in Hawaii grew up there and uh, graduated from high school before she came over here to San Diego. But anyway, we're going to set the set the tone with a little bit of island music. And uh, because basically she would have loved this. So here we go. mother 
Let their mother's presence be with them wherever they are. Let them remember how their mother loves them very much. Father, whatever your plans to them, it will be done whoever you appoint as their guardian. Your will be done. If our family will have the guardianship, thank you. And if not, thank you too. Whoever you appoint as their guardian, we will honor because you know what is best for Maya's children. Father, I pray blessings to Larry. I surrender Larry to you. He is your battle now. Father, forgive him because he does not know what he, has. he is doing as he is being controlled by an evil spirit. Father, you know what is best for him. Touch his heart so that he will tell the truth and the truth will set us free. You are more powerful than the evil spirit. Father, I trust you that there's nothing impossible to you. You can do all things in your perfect time. Thank you, Father. Thank you again for all the prayer warriors and all the faithful servants. Thank you for your continued support and dedication to pray for Maya's return and the welfare of the children. We are praying for mountains to be moved, finding Maya and justice to be served. Father God, we give you the honor to you. We praise your name. We love you. I pray this in the name of your son, Jesus. Amen. May we call on Claudia, on my friend, for another prayer. Good evening, everybody. Thank you for being here. Uh, I did a little prayer that I do almost every morning. It's called a prayer. I said a prayer for you today. I pray that God will lift you up in his hands, comfort you with his love, wipe every tear from your eyes, and strengthen you to face anything that comes your way. I pray that God will remind you that you are loved, missed, more than you can imagine. May is, was, and will always be a very important woman in my life. And I just want to, aside from the prayer, just tell you guys a little bit about who Maya was to me. In the, our last conversation that we had, it was a text when she was very excited about the new year. Um, she talked about how she wanted to do real estate on the side. She said, I think I'll be an awesome real estate agent. And as everybody here that knows her knew that that was true. Anything she put her mind to, she would supersede. She was looking forward to the new year. She was excited for change. Every morning we used to walk to Starbucks where we work. Thanks to that, we have a, her and I share a collection of Starbucks cups, which my husband actually contributed to it. Every time he traveled, he brought us some. Um, the immense gratitude for many hours of mentorship, contagious smiles and giggles just go beyond. I close by saying that, May, wherever you are today, Know that you impacted my life. You contributed to the woman I am today. I am blessed to say I call you not only my mentor, but also my friend. May we call on Rika, Maya's niece, my number three. Hi, thank you. Um, this will be a prayer of St. Anthony of Padua. O oh, holy St. Anthony, gentlest of saints, your love for God and charity for his creatures made you worthy when on earth to possess miraculous powers. Miracles waited on your word, which you were ever ready to speak for those in trouble or anxiety. Encouraged by this thought, I implore you to pay for me to be found. Sorry. 
the answer to my prayer miracle of miracles. Even so, never does they have miracles. <laughs> oh, gentle and loving Saint Anthony, whose heart was ever full of human sympathy, whisper me petition into the ears of sweet infant Jesus, who loved to be folded in your arms, and the gratitude of my heart will ever be yours. Amen. And then this prayer is followed by an Our Father, Hail Mary, and Glory Be. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. Thank you. not only to myself, I know to the family and, and to all of the supporters who have been with us throughout this last year in, in capacity, whether it's searching or on the prayer group. Um, so I started writing things and then I found an email that I drafted to share with um, other people at fed federal agencies. Um, so I'm gonna read it, I'm gonna read that. Um, so the email goes, my best friend, Mae Millette, is a 39-year-old mother, this was written in January of 2021, um, of three young children, ages four, nine, and recently 11, who's been missing since 1-7-2021. She's a dedicated civil servant whom I met in 2011 at NAVC, Southwest Regional Maintenance Command. May has dedicated 10 years of her life as a civil servant in the acquisition career field as a GS-1102 contract specialist, where she ensured the nation's freedom through timely availability of our nation's fleet, specifically the LSD-LPD class of ships before being promoted to the DDG class of DDG-1000 series, and again to the director spot where she mentored, influenced, and led 40 plus civil servants, all while maintaining her personal life. In June 2020, May left NAVC to pursue larger acquisitions where she joined NAVWAR, formerly SPAWAR, at the Naval Information Warfare Center NIWIC Command. And I say this all because she was um, said to be a contractor, and that's kind of a, a thing that itches me because she was a dedicated civil servant that um, helped defend the nation's freedom, multi-million dollar um, CNO availabilities. Um, as a friend, we shared many of life's major milestones from my wedding to the birth of our children. Additionally, I walked alongside her during 2020 um, and, an inc um, and all of the increased marriage challenges. I'm not going to go into the details there, um, but I wanted to take, I don't, I don't want to, okay, I'm going to pause because I think we're going to um, take a moment of silence here. Isaiah 40, verse 31 says, But those who trust in the Lord will find and renew their strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. We will start our moment of silence for about a minute, um, starting right now.
Take my home. 